but the mouth was open as if this baby tried to fight for his life. It tried to scream, but nobody can hear him because he did not have a voice and he couldn't save himself and he didn't make it. And it was from his own mother and her own womb. And that's where I saw my reality and I said, wait, I didn't abort three sack of tissues. I aborted three of my own children. And it hurt, but I was such a coward. And I, I tried to act strong because I was pro-choice and I didn't say anything. And the whole day in that clinic, it was a holocaust. It was me jumping from one room to the next, the next, and the next. The vacuum sound all day, all day, abortion. It was a human factory of human beings being killed. The girl would go in, she'd have an abortion. Head, arms, feet in the garbage, money. Another girl would go in, abortion, head, feet, garbage, duh, money, 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 all day, all day, all day, all day, in a circle. It was a money-making, demonic, titanic place. At the end of the day, there's about 25 babies and pieces in a garbage can, in a biohazard bag. And I said to the nurse, what do we do with this bag? And she said, oh, with that garbage? Oh, okay, so in California, we can't just dump out that garbage because there's blood in there. And you know, the, the garbage in the garbage cans in the back of the clinic, because can you imagine these women that walk out, walk out of this clinic and have abortions, they open that garbage can and they just see all these dead babies? Of course not. So there's a huge freezer right there. And biohazard comes in monthly and they just kind of throw it out in the dumpsters. So just tie the bag up and put the, the date on it and just store it right there. And when I open that freezer up, because these bags are red, but they're, they're, they're clear. I open this freezer and I see these blocks of babies frozen from all the abortions that Planned Parenthood had just in that one clinic. And it was horrifying to work in that place.